Now the first step is to restart Steam so you can close Steam and then you can relaunch Steam and then you can check. Just relaunch and then check. Still not working. The next step is to now for this close Steam first. So exit Steam and then you can type in Steam in Windows search box. Make a right click on Steam. Go to open file location. Again make a right click on Steam open file location and then make a right click on the Steam exe file. Go to properties. Go to this tab. If this is checked you can uncheck this box and then hit apply click on ok now relaunch steam and then you can check do the same thing with the game exe file make a right click on the game in steam go to browse local files and then over here you will see the game exe file make a right click go to properties go to this tab uncheck if this is checked you can uncheck this box hit apply click on ok relaunch the game and then check next step is to verify the game file now for this you can go to steam Make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to rename the config folder. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, manage browse local files. Now this will take you to the game installation folder. When you rename the config folder, all the saved settings will be lost. Now for this here, here you can see the config uh, fi uh, file. You can make a right click and you can rename this config for config file once you rename it relaunch the game and then check still not working run the game from the game installation folder make a right click on the game manage browse local files and then you can scroll down make a double click on the game exe file and launch the game from here if that does not work make a right click on the game exe file go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check if that does not work go to properties once again go to this tab put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working you can uncheck this box follow the next step the next step is to now still not working the next step is to if you are using any third party antivirus program now if you are using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security or update and security and then click on windows security click on virus and threat, threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app browse all apps go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open and once added now type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open and then click on add in my case i have already added once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check similarly if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program and the ne next step is to install visual c++ file for this you can open this link in a browser scroll down the link is provided in the video description this will take you to microsoft website download this x86 and x64 you have to install both x86 and x64 click on it if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well and then run this x64 file and again if you see repair click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete once both are installed restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to windows n edition user install media feature pack so if you have windows 10 or windows 11 n edition you can open windows settings go to system go to about uh, go to option feature option and then click on add a feature or view feature over here click on yes to allow and then type in media feature pack i have windows 11 home edition if you have windows n edition you, when you type in media feature pack you might see media feature pack over here and then if you see it put a check on the box and then install it restart your computer and then check still not working type in turn windows feature on or off and then click on turn windows feature on or off if media feature is, is unchecked over here put a check on media feature and then you can install it restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to if you are able to launch the game disable frame generation uh, ray tracing turn off hdr lower down graphics settings and then you can check if you are not able to launch the game you can skip this step now once you launch the game uh, you can go to options over here and then go to display and if hdr is on you can turn off hdr and then you can go back to graphics over here and over here uh, you can see ray tracing if this is on 
uh, you can turn this turn off the ray tracing over here turn it off and then scroll down over here you can see frame generation turn off the frame generation and over here you can switch to window mode and you can lower down screen resolution if this is set to like 4k uh, you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more and frame rate uh, maybe you can try to lock the fps at 60 you can try both uh, vsync on and off and then check and you can global illumination you can uh, you can if this is set to like uh, uh, high you can set it to medium or you can even go for low and then nvidia reflex low latency you can turn this off and lower down graphic settings like if everything is set to like high you can set it to medium or low and in my case i will just set it to uh, medium quality here you can see so try to lower down graphic settings and then you can check the performance now still not working the next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system and then click on find now on this page you will see the latest ge force game ready driver whichever is the latest you can click on view and then you can click on download over here and once the download is complete you can run this exe file and then click on yes to allow click on ok and then you have to click on agree and continue now click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next once it is done restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game still not working now if you have amd card users go to amd website select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here this is just an example i don't have amd graphics so select your graphic card and then you can select your operating system whichever is the latest you can click on download install it restart your computer and then check still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file once the game is added over here find the game in the list and then you have to click on the game over here and select high performance over here you will see your graphic card now relaunch the game if you have desktop users make sure that you connect your sdmi or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not the motherboard slot next step is to disable integrated graphic card now for this make a right click on the start menu go to device manager expand display adapter over here if your computer has a dual graphic card like in my case it's intel is the integrated one you can and this is the discrete so make a right click on the integrated graphic card and then click on disable device and then you can relaunch the game and then check now once you're done playing the game or if you face any problem come back and then you can enable the device once again still not working roll back graphics card driver so if the latest game ready driver is not working after you select your graphic card your operating system click on view more versions and maybe you can install the older ge force game ready driver view it download it install it when you go for installation put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation click on next restarting computer and then check similarly uh, on amd card users after you select your graphic card click on previous versions select your operating system and then maybe you can install the older graphic card driver and then restart your computer download it install it restart your computer and then check still not working the next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel go to hardware and sound go to power options in my case i have only balanced but if you see uh, power options like this you can select power option put a check on power option relaunch the game and then check you can even go for a balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver next step is to type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings click on advanced graphic settings if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it on relaunch the game and then check if this is already on turn it off relaunch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size 
and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM for maximum is 3 multiplied total RAM. So you can check total RAM in Windows settings, go to system and then go to about option. And over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes. So you have to calculate as per your RAM. And if you face any problem, we can always revert back to the settings. So do not worry about it. So for in my case, it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024. That is total total RAM in megabyte. For initial size, it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5. That is 24576. For maximum size, it's total RAM that is 16 multiplied 1024. In my case, 16384 megabyte then three times multiplied three that is for maximum size it's four nine one five two in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that it hits set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in via advanced system settings again and then click on via advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on ok ok you will see restart option restart you can be and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advance change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step still not working the next step is to update windows now for this open windows settings go to windows update or update in security click, click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here restart you can be and after the system restart you can check still not working update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios now the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using like if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect extra controller connected to the computer disable steam overlay so for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then check if you have any other overlay application like nvidia app running on your computer you can go to nvidia app settings over here and then over here if you see nvidia overlay if this is on Turn it off and close NVIDIA app. If you have Discord running, you can go to Discord settings, turn off Discord, like turn off overlay, close all the overlay application and then check. Do not overclock, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application, like if you have MSI after burner, reward tuner running, you can close it. Run the game uh, on single monitor. Uh, the game on single monitor. Like if you have multiple uh, monitor setup, in that case, you can uh, disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor and then check. If you have any third party application or services running, you can close it. If you have undervolted, you can be remove the undervolt and then you can launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game and then install the game to C drive. So if the game was installed to D drive, E drive or any external drive, Try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game was already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.